you're gonna die. Life is short for everyone. I want as many people as possible to realize that as early on in their life as they can so that they don't have those barriers of I have tomorrow, I have next year. Whether you're completely healthy or whether you have uh, a life-threatening disease or whether you have a limited amount of time, you're still gonna die. So go out, figure out what you wanna do, write it down if you have to, and just go do it, go make it happen. Don't let those barriers get in your way. What kind of adventure do I want to go on? Where, where am I going to be on that weekend? You know, how can I live that, my life to the fullest? And that's sort of been my frame of mind since I was a kid. You know, How can I live my life to the fullest while I could? My name is Jordan D. Marcia, and uh, I had a heart transplant when I was about three and a half. Uh, I suffered from a rare heart condition known as transposition of the great arteries, which led to a rare lung disease known as plastic bronchitis, of which I'm still the only known survivor of. Growing up was different than I would say a normal person growing up would be. Having to face death at such a young age, I was almost uh, at a different place in my life. Even at the age of like five, six, seven, eight, I was more like, who are you? You know, what's your story? Uh, where are you going? How are you going to get there? And this goes to as young as like 10 years old. It was hard to relate to a lot of people just because I, it seemed that my mind frame was always kind of different than everybody else's. People worried about things that I wouldn't even conceive as something that was important to me. A typical heart lasts around 10 years, and mine is about 21 years post-transplant now. So it's almost double. My average lifespan is about 40, which means at 26, I probably have like 14 years left to live, which is kind of hard to think about at times. It kind of puts you into a section in your mind where you're like, look, my time is limited, so I want to be able to get out there and, and live my life and, and really embrace it. and. Um, follow all my dreams and all my goals. If you want to do this, go do it. If you think about doing this, you should act on it. You should never be in a position or a circumstance where you're afraid to do something because fear is just what it prevent. It would prevent me from being able to truly live my life. And neither my mom or my dad wanted me to have that in my mind at all, since I already had a limited. Uh, time to be alive. You know, a lot of people grow up and they've got 80 years, so they, they think they have room for a little bits of fear and little bits of doubt that prevent them from doing certain things. I've never had that. For my life, it's been, I want to do it. So I do it. I figure out a way to make it happen. I'll mark it out on a piece of paper, or I chat with it, my friends, or sometimes just sit down and talk to my dad about it, and we figure out a way to make it happen. And now, I'm 21 years post-transplant. I'm completely healthy. I have no issues with my heart, with my body, with anything. I have a goal of being the first heart and organ recipient to visit every single country in the world. I got into vlogging and kind of telling my story through video, which I really, really loved. I loved, I could help other people in the world who were having struggles with their transplant or having struggles, struggles with uh, where they are in their life and what's going on and being like, look, it's okay. This is where I was and this is what happened to me and this is what I'm doing now and you can kind of do the same thing. So I've been to around 12 countries right now. Um, I have 184 sort to go, which is a lot, but I'm super optimistic about it. Uh, I have no worries that I'll be able to actually accomplish that goal. And next on the bucket list, well, next on the country list, I shouldn't say bucket list, is the Philippines. And then I'll be hitting up Singapore and Japan and China, and I'm just gonna keep going and going until I accomplish my goal of 184 countries. Once I accomplish that goal, I will sit right back down and think of something else, um, somewhere else to go, and what I can actually do next. A 
lot of people think they have more time than they actually do. I never had that luxury, and I was forced earlier on to accept that if I want to do these things, I just had to commit and go do them. In a way, it was my greatest gift. If there's something you want to do, just commit to it. Commit to making it a part of your life. Surround yourself with the people who will help you get there and go get after it. None of us have as much time as we think. My name is Jordan, I'm Chasing Life, and this is me.